Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, let's check out that forecast tonight. You're going to see temperatures back off through the teens down into the single digits with partly cloudy skies. All that nice deep snowpack out there, perfect for temperatures to drop off tonight. Looks like most of the Miami Valley will be down around zero. Some locations might even slip a little bit below or uh, just stay a little bit above that freezing mark. Also, a few more clouds may return later tonight, so up around 2 at 8 o'clock with partly to mostly cloudy skies through the day. 15 degrees at noon and 20 at 5. PM. Finally, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, a few more snow showers could move in. But a frigid night on the way tonight. Cold conditions on Wednesday. We'll see snow showers Wednesday night and again on Thursday. Right now, it just looks like light accumulations expected. Generally, uh, inch or less of accumulation both Wednesday night and again on Thursday. And then very cold conditions at the end of the week with that snow cover still out there. Speaking of which, uh, a lot of these areas uh, with the sleet really held the numbers down around Miamisburg, Cedarville, Wilmington. Uh, but even yesterday evening, once we moved that sleet out of here and got the upper layers of the atmosphere cold enough for around five, 6,000 feet, we ended up picking up anywhere from about two to four inches of snow uh, through the evening hours and shortly after midnight. But some of the heaviest totals were it stayed all snow up around uh, Bell Fountain and up around Indian Lake. Lakeview there, 10 inches of snow, nine and a half inches in Sydney, 8.4 in Piqua, 10 inches in Greenville, Fountain City, Indiana, uh, picking up nine and a half inches of snow. So it looks like that was the heaviest corridor right there, east central Indiana up into uh, Logan County. But you can still see those totals up around eight inches into Mercer and Auglaise counties. Uh, also, the snowfall yesterday, the total, including the snow that fell uh, Sunday night and into Monday morning, 5.9 inches. And that set a record for the date, 4.3, the old record, 2003. And the event total, the storm total there, ended up being six and a half inches. As far as snowy as February's go, well, we're in eighth place now at 13.1 inches, and we got to pick up another inch and a half to tie 1980. And we're going to work on that, uh, it looks like, a little bit with some of that light accumulation potential Wednesday night and into Thursday. But you can see the snow totals there staying generally under an inch here as we go through Wednesday or Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Low temperatures tonight dipping down near zero around the Miami Valley. Uh, even some sub zero temperatures over that really deep uh, snowpack to the north. Greenville, Sydney up to about Bell Fountain, zero around Troy also and Urbana. Uh, Sydney looking for a high temperature near 20, 19 in Greenville with the heavy snowpack, and generally around 20 degrees here in the Dayton area for tomorrow afternoon as well. And then high temperatures on Thursday ranging from the mid 20s north uh, to the upper 20s in the southern part of the Miami Valley. Here's the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. There's I-75. Boy, traffic moving along just fine tonight with dry conditions out there on the road. And you're seeing those partly cloudy skies. Uh, there have been a few flurries this afternoon, mainly down south into Warren and Clinton counties. Uh, those continue to drift off to the south and southeast and away from us. And right now in Dayton, we have a temperature reading of 18 degrees, west wind at 13 miles per hour. Wind chill factor at 5 with a barometer on the rise as high pressure settles in tonight. That'll also help drop off the winds. Bell Fountain at 14 degrees, 16 in Greenville, 16 Wapkaneta, and then upper teens near 20 over the southern Miami Valley. Look for those partly cloudy skies tonight for a little while, and then late tonight will tend to cloud up again and get back to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. Still looks dry on Wednesday, but looks like Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, snow chances will start to creep up a bit with a few snow showers moving in from the south. Your forecast tonight down near zero, partly cloudy, very cold west. West winds back off to about three to seven miles per hour and a mostly cloudy cold day tomorrow. High temperature right up around 20. 11 at 10 o'clock with 15 degrees at noon. Upper teens to around 20 into the afternoon and early evening. And then upper 20s on Thursday with some snow showers. Still a chance for a few snow showers Friday and colder. We'll have some colder air there. A mix of clouds, a little sunshine. Single digits Saturday morning with a high of 22. But then we start warming it up. Mid 30s on Sunday, 40 Monday, 42 on Tuesday. And a chance in the evening on Sunday of seeing some rain and snow showers and some rain and snow showers around the area on Monday. Mark.